Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Lolly. Today I want to compare two mini die cutting machines. Those are the We Are Memory Keepers Mini Evolution Advanced and the Dress My Crafts Easy Cuts. Now I was sent one of these from Dress My Crafts. This I had purchased quite a while ago on HSN. And at the time that I purchased it, I also ordered the box, which holds all your, you know, supplies and has room for this little box here for your other accessories. So let's move this out of the way. And I want to start by talking about these two. Um, the profile is about the same. They are approximately the same height, approximately the same length but the width is a little different. This is a little narrower than this. Also, this one has a handle that you can put your entire hand under. This, this you really can't. That's the cutting surface. There is no additional handle other than the cutting surface, you know, where the roller blade rollers are. So it, it's a little, um, you have to really make sure you have a grip on that. This is easier to get a hold of. Weight. This one is about two and a half ounces lighter than the We Are Memory Keepers version. So I have had this one the longest, and I want to talk about this one first. This one has three cutting plates, and we have B, E, and C. They are labeled on the top, right corners. And so if you remember, B is base. In other words, you will use this all the time. And then E is if you are embossing, you would put your cardstock in your embossing folder put that on your embossing plate, base, and then run it through your machine. If you are cutting, you are going to use C for cutting. Put your die with the paper on top. Paper, die, cut side down, your base, and run it through. Now, and you can uh, rotate these around. You can see that I've only used this side mostly. I've done one here. It does have some warping. It had more, but I did that little trick where you put boiling water on it and a heavy pot to flatten it out that Jennifer McGuire had recommended. Um, it did decrease it significantly um, because it was significantly bent, so they did improve it. I am starting to use this size because I realized I hadn't been using the other side. You can run a three inch wide paper through here and the plates are approximately six to six and a quarter inches long. So that helps you to know what size dies to use. Now I'm going to use this die. It is one from Echo Park. And I'm going to use my cutting plate, put the paper down, the cardstock, the die and run this through. Now I want to show you that this entire surface here on the Evolution Advanced has this platform. It's rubberized. You're supposed to be able to put it down on your surface and switch this flip from lock, unlocked to locked and that is supposed to make it grip your surface. Works really well. You see how this is not moving until I start using it. And then I have had a lot of problems with it. I don't even bother using that feature anymore. It only stays adhered if I have a, like a glass work surface. It doesn't stay adhered to this. It doesn't stay adhered to my laminate countertop. So the other problem is, see, I just moved it and it already came undone. Just to bump it and it starts moving. Now, this is the first time I've ever had it stay put, so that's that's a, an improvement. Okay. It makes a really good die cut. It's nice and smooth. It's perfect. I don't have any problem with that at all. So, let's do another one. Now, one of my main problems besides the... Oh, see, it's already not sticking anymore. I just barely even touched it. Um, you could probably dampen the the surface of the bottom of this to get it to stick better. My other problem is you have to hold on to this while trying to feed it through and then you can finally grab the handle. It takes a bit of coordination. Now I do have other die cutting machines and I have the Big Shot 
the Sizzix Big Shot, and I have the Crafter's Companion electronic die cutting machine called the Gemini. But both of those, because of my craft space limitations, my Big Shot is on a table over here, my Gemini is on a table over here, and neither one of them will fit in my work area. But when I'm cutting smaller dies, I can keep something this size on my table and just start cranking out dies, and it's very handy. Okay, oh, uh, and also this is a little, I think it's a little kind of wonky to, to die cut with. I mean, it seems like it's very stiff to me. Okay, so let's look at the easy cuts. This one is very, very easy to turn, and it slides too because it doesn't have, it doesn't have the whole suction thing. But since my suction thing, you saw it work once and then it didn't work again. That's the only time it's ever worked for me, by the way. In all my cuts, it has never worked. So this one just has regular non-skid surfaces here, here, and here. So what you do is you lower this down and now look at this bed. The bed you have compared to the length of this bed and this one is bigger than a lot of the mini die cutting machines, which only have this much room. But look at the size of this. So now I want to show you these cutting plates. These are the two cutting plates. They are identical. It doesn't matter which way you put them in there. And so I am cutting e uh, equally on each side. And I have never had to straighten these plates. They are perfectly flat. And I haven't even worried about how I store them. They've just, they just, it doesn't make these curved like my other plates have been. The beauty of this is you, because of this large bed here, you can lay your bottom mat down, lay your cardstock on, and this, you can arrange it all here. Whereas this, on the We Are Memory Keepers, I had to do this all on my table or on my hand and slide it through. This one, I can set it down and I can put all my dies on here and then slide it through. And see, I can let go right away and just hold the top. And because it's so much easier to crank, it's not sliding all over my craft table. So I, as you can see by the um, number of cuts that I've done on my craft plates, I have used this a lot. See, I have used this a lot. You can tell by how, how the, all the cuts that I have on here. I've never had to straighten these out in any way. So I really love this. I mean, I, I really enjoy this when I bought it, but had I known when I bought it that this would be manufactured, I wouldn't have bought this one at all. I know it's only two and a half ounces difference as well, but this really feels heavy. And I think part of it as well is the fact that there's really no handle on it, so to speak. I mean, you can't get your fingers all the way under that. This one is so much easier to tote around. Okay, and you can see I have a little goo on mine because I always take my tape off when I'm using purple tape and I stick it to the top. So, uh, can this one do embossing? Yes, there are, uh, there are additional, you can get uh, refill plates. And so they have... You can get more of these, and they have the plates that you can use for embossing. That is available. Um, you cannot use the We Are Memory Keepers plates in this machine. I have played with all sorts of combinations because none of these plates are the same size as these plates. Okay? And I've tried other combinations. I've tried one of these with these. I've tried, you know... it especially for embossing. I've tried many combinations and nothing has worked. Uh, maybe you have found something that works for you. I don't know. This company is in India and I am familiar with the company and their owner and employees and have worked with them before and I have always loved everything that I have purchased from them. Um, we Are Memory Keepers is also a reputable company and I have a lot of products from We Are Memory Keepers. And you know I have done a lot of reviews and I use their hole punches and uh, crocodiles and I use those so often that I still love the company. Um, it's just that this, although I love it, I'm sorry, this one gets my vote over between the two of them. I hope that was helpful for you and will help you in decision making. I can't 
speak as to availability right now as of this filming because every company is having difficulty getting their products. And I see crafters uh, complaining online and saying these companies need to get their acts together. And you know what? It's an issue right now for every company across the board, whether it's crafters or non-crafting companies. It's an issue for manufacturing, shipping, uh, building, getting raw materials. It's an issue for every company. And we just need to realize that and grant them grace. And if it's difficult to get either one or both of these at the current time, it's not the company's fault. Every company is working to bring products to us. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you look at the links underneath this video. You have to click to expand all the information. And thank you again for watching.